So I'm going to talk about uh, the observer and um, tiredness or lethargy. It's good when doing the observer uh, to get, try and keep a relatively straight back. Um, and, um, and there can be one of the ego mechanisms that can be employed is feeling sleepy and wanting to go to sleep when doing uh, the observer or, or other spiritual practices. So it's, it's, it tends to be a common, a common thing. As soon as uh, someone's talking spiritually or you have to do a spiritual exercise, there's suddenly an overwhelming sense of sleep seems to be the, 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 the time to, to, to get sleepy. So this can be um, the ego's way of blocking out what's going on. But I think uh, sleep is really, um, and feeling tired, uh, is, is, uh, the observer is particularly good, I think, with uh, the tiredness because if you're feeling sleepy or tired or sleepiness or tiredness as a state before you do the observer or you're doing the observer and this sleepy, tired feeling comes, the thing to know with the observer is things which come and go uh, are one of the things that can come, I mean, all kinds of things can come and go. You can have a feeling in your stomach come and go. You can have uh, sensations come and go, and you can also have tiredness come and go. So tiredness then, the observer is that which is the pure observer, or the pure detached observer, observes all things that can come and go, but it is the thing that doesn't come and go. So one of the ways to recognize something that's coming and going is um, to have the experience uh, it's not really an intellectual thing, but actually there was a time when you weren't tired and sleepy. And now, tired, even though tiredness and sleepy may seem to be the thing that's here now, something is, has watched it not be here and is still watching it be here right now. So tiredness or sleepiness is actually, it's like, I like to talk, say it's like a bit like a cloud. Now if you identify with the cloud, you become the cloud. But actually, tiredness or sleepiness is actually uh, something that is watched coming and going and there is a pure detached observing of the tiredness which is not tired just like if one was in a room and suddenly a big fog came into the room it might seem like one is the fog but actually even if a fog comes into the room one is still not the fog because there is an observing that is still not the fog, which is watching the fog, even if you might seem to get enmeshed or hooked in or attached or identified with the fog, still it's true that there is that there, here, which is not the fog and which is observing it. The same thing with tiredness. Tiredness can come in and one can get hooked into or identify and it seems like I am tired, I am the tiredness. But actually, the thing I like to do with um, tiredness is to recognize, oh, actually, I wasn't tired three hours ago. Now I'm tired. So that means that this is, there was pure observing and no tiredness. And now tiredness must be a thing that is being observed, even though it's here. Even if tiredness is here, it's not me, because I'm actually the observing. And so suddenly when I, when I reflect on that, I suddenly recognize, yes, I, there is a detached observing of tiredness, which is not tired. And the, and the miraculous thing is, when you're in the observing of the tiredness, it starts to dissipate. It's like the illusion that one is the thing starts to dissipate. And actually, if, you, if you're in the observing, a, a, a contemplative question to ask is, is the observer of, ti of tiredness tired? So is there a watcher of tiredness or a witnesser of tiredness? And if there is, in the witnessing position, is the witnesser of tiredness tired? Now, if the witnesser or the observer of tiredness is slightly tired, then this is what I call, or you know, if you have a tired or sleepy witnesser, then this is not the pure witnesser. So there has to be an observing <coughs> of the tired observer. So is there a witnessing of the tired observer? And is this, is this tired? Mm -hmm. So I'll, that's uh, how I do the observing. This is a quick story. I remember once going uh, to see a spiritual teacher 
who was uh, teaching the observer, shall we say, or, or sharing the observer. And I had kidney failure and sort of brain fog. And as soon as he was asking me, well, you know, what's observing, uh, there was the recognition that, you know, the brain fog just disappeared. And so it's recognized that these are just states, but they're not the truth of who I am. And actually, once you're in the observing, or the detached observing, these states start to dissipate and disappear, and sometimes can disappear quickly, because the pure observer is never tired. It is the observer of tiredness. So once you get that detached observing and hope from it, it seems like when you don't no longer feed the belief system, I am tired, it seems to start to dissipate. Um, so that's a, a practice to do, or another one to do if there seems to be tiredness. Is, is the tiredness fluctuating? Is it getting slightly, is one feeling slightly more tired or slightly less tired? Is it fluctuating, the tiredness? If it's fluctuating, then what's observing the fluctuation? So things that are changing, the observer of change is the observer of the fluctuating tiredness. Is, is that tired? So these are ways to get the detachment and then suddenly realize, unhook from the tiredness and then realize one isn't the tiredness. 